everybody, it's Shufaka back at again with another Madden YouTube video. Today we have no content inside of Madden, so we have a brand new top 10 we're going to release. This is literally zero chills over, so this list is basically almost all zero chill cards. And now we're going to show you guys the last time we did this list, which is a little over two weeks ago. And the list is literally completely different. I think there's maybe one card that transfers over. Obviously, like I said, we're going to go over the last top 10. Maybe there's even zero. I think it's one or zero. It will be crazy. But at the end of the day, there's no content. We're going to be pumping out a lot of top 10s during this week until we get maybe a pop-up promo on Friday, do some gameplays on. I have no clue what EA is going to do this week. No way they have no content in the middle of prime Madden season. But you never know with ea but if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to smash that like button hit that sub button as well and let's get right into it so actually looking at my old video you guys can't see it but i'm my old face cam is right under the face cam i'm on right now but this is my video right here the old one but you guys can see our number 10 was like robbie anderson we even had like Kadero patterson's corner card so it was like right at the beginning of zero chill we had like Derek thomas in here kyle pitts was one that was almost back on this list because of the tight end position is a little bit nimble right now but he was one that didn't even creak it we got a cd lamb who was brand new bo jackson right here before he got nerfed is in there brian dawkins i think this is i record this a day he came out if i'm not mistaken dan the man was on here we also had calvin johnson he was another one on here and the last one we had number one randall cunningham he was our number one last time yeah, very old, outdated list. Let's get this updated. For 10, I have Ricky Williams. I do think he is the best running back in the game. The reason why you'll see me, I have running backs lower on the... I don't think running backs are the most important position in the game. And also, I don't think Ricky Williams is that much better than every other running back in the game where he has to be higher on this list, if that makes sense. So I, I still do have him in the top 10 as a top 10 card in this game. But like I said, that's the reason why he's so low on a list like this. He is the only running back in the game that gets 95 speed so that alone is absolutely amazing so he's the fastest running back in the game he is a power back so he can't get like backfield mismatch i think we know he can he get, can't get like backfield master which is one that a lot of people do like to have but if you have Howard master or even if you're rocking anything i still do rock backfield mismatch on him which makes him catch the ball more and also run better routes which is solid he has really really solid stats all around his break tackle trucking all of those are absolutely amazing and yeah like i said 95 speed being the fastest running back he's got to be on here nine we have calvin johnson's wide receiver card 95 base speed i think there's only three wide receivers in the game who have 95 base speed and calvin johnson is one of them 94 excel he is really really good all of his stats are above 90 which is amazing and he's six foot five i mean what more can you ask better than okay okay you could ask for a better archetype we could all admit he was a deep threat last year if i'm not mistaken so that would have definitely made him probably a lot higher on this list i think because deep out elite is by far the best in the game right now it is by far the best ability in the game and you get it for two ap only on physical archetypes the only archetype in the game that gets it for two ap route runners and also deep threats get it for one ap i even think slots get it for one ap and like i said ap does add up so having out of position archetypes really does suck especially for a big guy that you need deep out on because that's exactly what's going to make him glitchy it really does suck and i do have him on my team and you definitely do notice that lack of ap because of him taking two of it that is the only negative on the card the card besides that is absolutely amazing for a we have the other calvin johnson the calvin johnson safety card so you'll notice this card like is not as fast but you guys got to remember he does get that plus one as well and also a big thing with him is we don't like dbs are always not like lined up directly with the wide receivers and also you need a dbs as tall as like calvin johnson to kind of counteract guys like calvin johnson on offense so this is why this card is absolutely amazing he's obviously six foot five he's big boy at 230 he is 93 speed is solid remember you do get a plus one on him you don't have to power him up or you do technically have to power him up but you don't have to buy a power up card if that makes sense but yeah looking at him really really good zone on him he's inside the box stats are very well put off he doesn't have really good block shed but you're gonna be playing this card over top i know a lot of people do user him i don't think he is a card that you want to use her or should use her because like i said the card that you want like i don't know how to explain it i like him because he can moss other guys up top that's what i love him about but yeah calvin johnson card's absolutely amazing 
number seven, we have the fastest tight end and also the card that I think is the best tight end in the game. Like I said, I thought Kyle Pitts was going to be our number 10 on this list. I really did like him. But then again, I was like, I got to include a running back because running back all like Ricky. I don't know. I don't know. Pitts. It was either Pitts or Ricky Williams at 10. And I ended up going with Pitts or with uh, Ricky Williams, obviously. But looking back at Vernon, he is not as tall or can air truck like him. But Vernon Davis does has the he has the glitchy spin move in the game, which like Jerry Rice and Kadero Patterson has. So that is amazing. He has the highest speed. And this, look at it. You can see all the thresholds are absolutely hit too. Even the deep is hit, which you don't see on tight ends. This is something I want to address. You'll see right here, these player traits, clutch, aggressive catches, drops, open passes, no. And the, I think it was like sideline catches. This stuff, I've never seen with a card matter so a lot. Like I, this card... He, I, I've never seen him drop a sideline catch. I've never seen him miss crazy cut. Like this stuff, I've never seen something not matter more than player traits on a card like Vernon Davis. I'm starting to believe they don't matter at all because of Vernon Davis alone. It's just one of those, don't buy cards because of these. Go test it out yourself because this has not mattered at all. Like I blatantly, blatantly has not mattered at all in Vernon Davis. And I saw someone commented on it and I took a look at it. And I started playing with the card and trying to test it out. And it does, it, the catching on the sideline, he's never dropped one unless he's gotten obviously hit by a guy while catching. But at the end, of the day vernon davis this card's absolutely amazing he even has solid run blocking at 77 run block as well very very good card Number six, we have Ted Hendricks. There's going to be a lot of safeties on this list. You'll notice safety by far is the most stack position right now. Free safety, strong safety combined. Very, very, very good cards inside of Madden. He's another one like Calvin where you can do a plus one on him. He is six foot seven. Six foot seven. Yes, you heard it right. Six foot seven with 95 man. For whatever reason, 95 zone. I mean, I'm not complaining. He has the best block shed in the game right here. At, for like what were one of the best blocks in the game for the safeties here. And then looking at his like just tackling, his pursuit, his power, absolutely amazing there. The one thing a lot of people shy away from is that agility and change direction, which I have not noticed at all literally at all but then again i have been using him a little bit i've even played him over top and that's where i think i like him a lot more so i have him and calvin playing over top so hopefully i don't get agged by just people chucking it up because their offense stalled out or whatever the reason is i don't want my dbs getting moss so i throw ted and calvin back there and they make absolute amazing plays this card is a beast for five we have the best wide receiver in the game Devonte adams 95 base sweet so you'll notice that he is the same speed and almost like the same stats and then a lot of things like calvin johnson he well technically here he is much better at calvin johnson at every single stat you guys can see all gonna hit above 95 plus every single stat that matters will be 95 plus one powered up he also gets those zero chill strat items a ghost if you guys well you could do that on most cards in the game but the thing i like about him i know you're losing four inches in height is that his his after the catch animations his spin everything is so much better and also his archetype i know one ap doesn't sound like a lot but it does add up and also like i said calvin johnson is kind of a brick after the catch when it comes to spin moving all that Devontae has all the good animations, and I think all these thresholds being hit above 95 is actually ridiculous. I think Calvin only has two of them hits above 95. Maybe some, maybe it's three with all of his catching abilities or catching, uh, catching. I can't even talk right now. Catching a traits whatever uh, you guys know what i'm saying you guys know what i'm saying the three catching uh stats that's what i'm looking for I, it's early in the morning don't 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 come after me it's early but yeah i think i would take Devonte, and i think a lot of people would rather have Devonte in this game number four we have micah parsons this is a card that i absolutely love in this game i did get to use him i did end up selling him because of the price uh, i absolute carried over i'll explain that in a second but besides that looking at the actual card he's a six foot three 246 pounds so not the big Biggest guy in the world but still pretty pretty big uh for well you don't really need him to be that big and juicy out there for that outside linebacker position but the thing is he is by far the fastest pass rusher in the game i think montez sweat is a 92 i think there's other guys with 92s as well i don't even think we have a 93 speed in the uh left end right outside linebacker left outside linebacker nothing to compete with this micah parsons right now and also he has amazing finesse move you'll notice his power move is kind of in the dirt but then again you're really getting this card because of his speed off the edge and a lot of people do loop their blitzers meaning this guy in a lot of blitzes will not be touched by anybody so that you know what i mean and he also has 91 block shed so he's hitting a threshold there with great hit power great tackling i love 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 a micah parsons game and also 80 zone for a possibility of dropping him into flat even hook flat or hook zones 
Absolute amazing from this card. Number three, I have a quarterback in Jalen Hurts. You'll notice there are going to be two quarterbacks on this list, and I do think that they are very, very close in talent. That's why I have them both so high up in the list and both so close to each other on the list. 93 speed, 95 excel, so crazy blazing fast right there. All of his accuracies are absolutely amazing. There's no stat down here where it's like, oh, that's awful. It's going to hold that card back. His break sack, most useless stat in the world. The break sacks are the most fluid. You could have a 99, you're going to break one sack out of a hundred sack attempts it's it's the most fluke stat in the world don't even count on that you know what i mean like don't not buy this card because of his break sack his play action's amazing his throwing pressure is amazing this card is just really good the one thing about him though that definitely does suck is the 8 ap when you do have to use him powered up to get gunslinger and escape artist but then again he is getting escape artist and gunslinger the two most broken abilities in the game this jalen hurts absolute amazing i don't like him too much in the pocket when like throwing deep but his throw on the run is Absolutely insane. Number two, we do have Isaiah Simmons, our only 95 speed safety in the game. He has 95 Excel, 95 agility, and a 94 change of direction. And yeah, I think he's the best user. Just like last year, he's going to be the best user in the game for a long time. As you guys know, he's going to be 99 speed on a lot of people's team with those zero chill strat cards for a long, long time. He has crazy man coverage, crazy zone coverage, absolutely amazing hit power down here. His block shed, not the best, but 80 for safety is definitely, definitely very solid and on top of it he is six foot four so he's huge he's absolutely huge with these crack stats and cracked crack speed to catch up remember he's the only db in the game i think that has 95 speed if i'm not mistaken there are probably corners in the game i think no because i think richard sherman has 94 if i i don't know maybe i'm missing somebody but yeah i think he is the fastest db in the game and also six foot four isaiah simmons absolutely amazing you need you literally need this card under he was 300k at a point he was uh, at 280k at a point if you miss out on this card i don't know what to tell you he's definitely a top two top three arguably like the most valuable card in the game right now and number one i think you all knew this card was coming derrick henry is an absolute beast in this game he obviously has the aaron Rodgers release whatever i don't know whoever at ea thought that was a great idea to give the arguably the best running back in madden when he has a prime time card the best release in madden at the quarterback position i i have no clue i really have no clue but obviously they did have to nerf him a little bit now they didn't nerf him but they had to put some bad stats on him to make him not the best card in madden history right away but looking at him he has the highest speed at the quarterback highest excel here remember intangibles like the the best release in the game you guys could look at quarterback release chart right here and look at it he has slinger one which is by far the fastest if you look at the madden 21 which carries over the same release he has a 0.820 Look at the next one. I don't even know what the next one is. 0.97. And I don't even know who has traditional two. I really have no clue who even has that. But I don't know what I just clicked. But Aaron Rodgers release. Absolutely nuts. And then looking at his stats. Obviously that medium's not the best. The deep's not the best. I personally have not noticed it. The only throws I notice him to maybe struggle on. Are throw on the runs at like deep accuracy. So if you're running and throwing a deep, deep post. That's the only one I've noticed. Standing nothing. I've not noticed him to struggle at. I, I don't know. The fumbles, too. It's a quarterback. You don't really want to, I don't know, run into people you know, because he's Derrick Henry. You kind of do have to still play like a quarterback. He can air truck. He's really, really good. And that carrying, like, a 97, the crazy trucking. Remember, it... I don't know what they do with like the quarterback like they should not give them 97 carrying if they're still gonna fumble like a quarterback it makes no sense but this derrick henry is absolutely amazing this video was definitely a longer one because we did show you guys the other top 10 as well but i had to include this we're gonna try to figure out some other stuff i don't want to just do five straight videos of top 10s this week because there's gonna be no content which really would suck hopefully they pop us up with something and i might do some theme teams during the week i don't know i'll figure something out can't do top 10s every single day but i appreciate you guys so much and hope to see you guys in the next one. So make sure to smash that like button. Peace out, boys.